League season is still only a month away, but slowly and surely we're starting to see the new home jerseys for this coming season. Who is the best? Who is the worst? We're going to take a little look at them uh, next. Today we're going to do a tier list ranking video, that's right, of course, take a look at the 2022-2023 home Premier League shirts, of course, and we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new, where you've been, smash your subscribe and get back to all things Rovers related, Premier League related, world football related, we got all here, boys, under one Ruski. Of course, we haven't got all 20, uh, it is still early days, we, got, we do have, uh, of course, the best part of a month for the rest of the teams to catch up, but we do have a whole bunch of them, and we're going to take a little look, and of course, ranking from the course of the world all the way to the best and of course we'll do that together right here right now but before that big shout out to my VIPs the other patrons guys you know who you are so let's get into it of course here we go into the vortex my very own tier list ranking system now we're going to take a look at, I think 10 10 12 I don't know uh, uh, Premier League shirts and ranking from of course crap to elite right in front of your very eyes now of course I've done a lot of these uh, videos in the past um, and I have been meaning to get to these, but uh, I've had to get up at 5.40, 5.40 a.m. to get it into the air. And, of course, when I did wake up, there was a bit of breaking news out of the championship. So we're coming at you a little bit uh, a little bit laggy here. But anyway, let's get into it. Waste no more time. Take a look at what we've got all the way to the very bottom. So let's start off. And some of these images, I'll give you that, aren't the best. Uh, but we'll start off with, a, uh, I think, a very, very good-looking shirt. It is Everton coming at you. Let's make it a little bit bigger. That's what she said. Here it comes. Coming at you. Lovely blue uh there is some sort of pattern on on the on the on the on the top there the back or some sort of a design uh kind of like a honeycomb ish i don't really know i'm gonna try and blow it up a little bit more uh of course sponsored by hommel which is of course nice to see and of course they've got a, a crisp looking everton badge uh the stake.com has been appearing on a lot of shirts these days across the leagues across the divisions across the countries as well uh and this for me already we're getting off to an absolute fly here with this shirt i think it is a very very crisp looking shirt blue and white the colours that you associate with Everton, especially their home jersey, so they've done that. The, the collar's perfect, nice ring around there. Um, of course, the Hummel is white compared to the blue. Everything else is contra contrasting each other, so the, the, the white uh, and the blue going up, going uh, and opposite. There's a couple of little white bits of flare down down the armpit here, which of course also adds to the flavour. So this for me is a I'm already I'm already stu uh, not stunned but uh, happy with that. And if if uh, Frank Lampard can get the performances on the pitch to match the jerseys that they're wearing. Then Everton are going to be in for a fantastic season. I'm going to put that in, in great. Uh, and of course, I've done I've done videos taking a look at Everton's shirts of the past. And for me, that would go into the this elite or at least great column. Anyway, next of course we have. Uh, let's go for a big boy here. It is of course Manchester United. Of course, still sponsored by Team Viewer, and we do believe that Ronaldo will not be wearing this. Uh, instantly, when I look at this, uh, I, I can see what they're trying to do but I think they're failing it miserably it's trying a bit of a, a retro vibe here with the collar uh, and of course the zigzagsness of course it's from the era of the late 90s I would imagine Arsenal have been doing this very very well over recent years but uh I think this one is a bit of a shitter, really. It doesn't look that good and I'm not too sure about the how they've done the badge how, how often have they done that you know with a with a with a sort of Whatever that is, upside down house. Um, I think I think that actually det uh, uh, detracts from from the. Um, can I zoom in? That's what she said. Yeah, I think it detracts from the thing. If, if they would have just opted for the badge, it probably would have been uh, much more cleaner than that. Uh, what have I done here? Well, there we go. Uh, so for me, that that's not great. I don't. I don't. I don't think it's good. And I, I'm a big big user of Team I've been using it for years. Um, and I was uh, excited to see them being sponsored for for them, but they've they've got themselves a bit of a dud. I know it's going to be seen around the world in all all sorts of countries, all walks of life. Um, but for me, this shirt is pretty pretty dire. It's got the red colours, of course, red, black, and white, uh, with the with the with the black Adidas flare. And again, I, I do love my Adidas. Got my love my Sambas and all that kind of stuff. But for me, this shit this shirt is uh, more shit than it is uh, uh, elite. So I'm going to put it down. It's not ghastly, but it's just it's just a bit meh. You know what I mean? It's okay. 
it, it passes as a United shirt, but to be honest with you, if I was a United fan, I wouldn't be rushing out to go buy it. Now, a shirt that maybe uh, Cristiano Ronaldo will be wearing is this one, but believe it or not, of course, coming out of London, it is Chelsea. Uh, and again, I'm, I'm mixed on this one. I am mixed. Of course, the colours are spot on. You know, for home jersey, you've got to you got to stick to your traditions, the blue, the white. Um, and again, for the most part, it looks OK. What I don't like already is uh, is the separation if this was a one old jersey without this split here uh, then i think we'd be on i think we'd be on to an absolute winner it just feels a little bit okay i'm not wearing it i've not touched it i'm just going for my first instinct my raw instincts but when you look at this this for me you know compared to the everton one the everton one has got it spot on if they took the everton bit here and, and uh, added this collar i like this collar i even like a little bit of the flare on on, on the white I think that's a, a nice little touch, um, but uh, this this bit, the separation here, this for me is is not. It, it, it also uh, detracts from it. It's a nice, okay, safe shirt for Chelsea. Um, it's better than United's. I'll give you that. And I think Ronaldo will be happy wearing a blue shirt for a change. I believe he's going to go there. We'll, we'll have to find out. Um, uh, as the season edges closer. There's not many teams that, that could afford him, but we'll, we'll talk about that maybe later today. Moving on, we've got another big bad boy. Let's actually go uh, uh, to a different club here. We've got here Man uh, Aston Villa. Aston Villa, of course, coming at you. Um, right here, right now. Uh, of course, with the traditional claret and blue. Uh, one of two claret and blues now. Of course, they, they, they we did lose one with Bernie. <laughs> uh, they are, uh, of course, gone. Uh, Kazoo, the sponsor yet again. And again, the, the, the mock-up here is, is an actual real shirt. It's not uh, on a mannequin, so you can't really get a good 3D look at it. And again, we are, we are clutching at straws. Um, safe colours. It's, it's, it's an okay shirt. Nothing exciting about it. These holes here look a bit suspect, but maybe there's some sort of breathing thing i'm not an expert um but it's it's an okay shirt um i would say, yeah for me it doesn't it doesn't get up get me off my seat it doesn't get off me off my seat uh it's it's, it's as long there with it's not shit but it's a bit mess let's take a look at liverpool's then shall we uh of course second place team they've also got a bit of that going on as well which is gonna it's gonna uh, detract me of course maybe it's a nike thing and again we're looking um we're looking for winners here we're looking for absolute gems that that tick all the boxes it is a nike thing it appears to be they think this is the way to go unfortunately i think hummel have got it spot on the nose again besides that it's a fantastic shirt it's all red uh you know little uh, little i like this little attention to detail not all shirts go with this little cut or a little v down here if you can see it i think that's a nice touch and again the the, the white uh sponsor all white all, all white badge or white uh, nike logo fantastic uh it's good but just uh that a little bit of shit there is it's just uh something that you know just infuriates me a little bit. So I'm going to put it alongside Chelsea. Uh, hopefully we'll get a little bit. Let's take a look at the, the, the Geordies then, shall we? Of course, should be a big season for them. They've also gone with the same, uh, the maker uh, of Aston Villa's one here, which is, I can't even see that, Castone or something. It must be Italian. Again, this looks pretty good. And and, and I've seen over the, again, I've done Newcastle shirts uh, over, over like the grand old scheme and things. Um and sometimes they get it. They, they they come up with the classics, and sometimes they come out with absolute dog shite ones. This one for me is pretty good. I think they got it. They got it good. Last season there was some sort of weird uh, collar that made it look like the number four. This time they've opted for just a kind of clean, clean, uh, clean neck area. Uh, and again, I think it's quite a nice touch. The the the, the brand name there alongside the sponsor in the same sort of blue. Uh, the badge has also got that blue as well. So they they're trying to keep that consistency, the black and the white and the blue uh, in there. Of course, blue, you know, you, you, of course, black and white is is, is associated with with the Geordies and of course like that. And the stripes, they've got it. They've, I think they've done a very good job on the stripes here. This looks is very good. And again, it could easily go wrong. Um, what I don't have is the backside of this. How does it look on the backside? That could be a, 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 a game changer moving along when we do have all 20 Premier League shirts for next season. So uh, for me, this is good. I, if I'm going to put it alongside uh, um, uh, Everton here. It's, it's great. I think that for me, they are winning the shirt battle at the moment. Moving on to Tottenham Hotspur. Here we go again. 
again, clean shirt, looking very, very good. It is Nike. Now, uh, I cannot see that uh, that, that bit that, uh, that Chelsea and and, uh, and Liverpool have. So for me, this one is a, is a step above. I think this is quite good and it is clean. I do like a clean looking shirt. I don't like ugliness. I don't like multiple colours or, or, or blocks or shit like that. So Spurs looking very, very good. And again, it could be a monster season for them. I like the, the blue and the, the yellow on the collar and the arms there or the sleeves. Uh, and the AIA does look, uh, it pops out there with all red and no box around it. So clean looking shirt, very, very good. Again, I'm going to put that alongside uh, Newcastle and Everton as one of the shirts to watch out for this season. Into the final few. Now we have Wolverhampton Wanderers, of course. Uh, and again, the, this, this story is slowly but surely uh, uh, raising its head in the game of the Premier League shirts. Uh, very, very good colours as well. Of course, traditional colours for Wolves, your, your, your amber and your black. Um, it looks a bit like a very Italian kind of shirt, to be honest with you. Again, the holes are appearing here. We've seen that on a couple of shirts. Um, and again, a not too bad shirt. A couple of little red uh, blocks here, which, of course, not not my cup of tea. Uh, it's definitely... I like it. And again, the Wolves have been notorious over the years for some good shirts, some terrible shirts. And again, I've done, done my own video on my channel of Wolf shirts of the past. This is a... Is, 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 I'm going to put it between great and good. Uh, and for the sake of the argument, I'm going to put it... In, uh, I'm going to put it in great actually because I, I I want I want to give credit when credit is due and that is a good shirt for Wolves for Wolves and of course for the Premier League. Next up we have the Champions. It is a Manchester City. Now if you if you know me and you know my uh, style, I do not like fucking badges in the centre like this. This for me is an instant turn off. It looks absolutely dog shit, uh, and that is a major major negative for this shirt now if we would have had this badge in the traditional spot on the left hand side you know above your heart i think you'd be an absolute banging shirt i think this would be an elite shirt but this being in the middle it just makes it look stupid again they they toyed us toyed with us last season with their third kit an absolute dog shit one as well with shit down the middle it looked like a training top it looked like a, a set of pajamas uh, but this one again it is it's a good shirt but this badge it detracts it and and i can't i'm not going to devalue the shirt as a whole um, but if it was to the left it would be elite and if, at, the, at the looks of it it would be elite on its own for me though it's going to it's going to it's an absolute cracking looking shirt let down by the poor poor placement of the badge here so i'm going to put it down there with the big boys uh, down here. It's, it's such a low blow. Get that shit sorted out. No, no, in the middle. Uh, I've got a couple left here. I've actually got quite a few left. Uh, we've got Leicester City, of course, coming at you at the King Power Stadium. Of course, blue and white, traditional colours. Bit of, a bit of a uh, slight bit of yellow in there. Bit of piss, piss colour in there, maybe. No disrespect. Uh, this collars thing for me was, was with Rovers two years ago. Uh, not a big fan of that, personally. The colours are good, though. Um, I like I like the, uh, the, the Asian... Uh, sponsorship there. I do like a bit of dragons and shit like that. I'm a, a bit big, big time guy about that. Uh, a good, good looking shirt. Strong, you know, it's a contender, but it, it's not going to be in that great column. I'm going to put it down there with uh, the good of the rest of them. So uh, we have a, a nice sort of uh, blend of, of great and good guys at the moment. Moving on to West Ham United. Let's take a look at West Ham United. There they are. Going for something a little bit different. Of course, Umbro, of course, traditional British brand there. Betway, of course. And the uh, the chunky arms, which I'm not the biggest fan of either. I'm all about the slim arms. If it was a little bit slimmer down there, down the, down the flares there, it would be a much better shirt. But again, it's a good shirt. They have gone a little bit different with these sleeves. I don't even know what that is. Um, it looks, I don't know, just like a, like a smudge print uh, of sorts. Where am I? So, um, yeah, it's, it's a good shirt. Uh, of course, strong shirt, contender to be decent. Where are we? I'm trying to clean this image up here. That'll do. That'll what can do. Uh, so for me, I'm going to put it in the good column again. There's not, uh, there's no stinkers, absolute stinkers just yet. Um, but there's still time. There's still time for these guys. It is Arsenal. <laughs> Uh, Arsenal coming at you with uh, this banging shirt. Let's have a look. They have, of course, gone with the retro look as well. Uh, let's have a little bit closer. Here they come. And again, they, they've been doing this quite right. Now, if we take a look at these, uh, of course, uh, Manchester United also uh, going for the, um, the retro look here. The collars are similar, but different. Um, you know, it just looks... It might just be the mock-up here, 
but it's done. And again, I think the, these white sleeves look add a bit of extra touch to it. And I think it's just been done a little bit better. The white button, of course, looks good. Everything on the Arsenal one looks looks uh, much slicker than that of uh, United. I'm actually going to put this as I don't I don't I want to put it. I don't really want to put it in great, but I'm going to put it in great. I'm, I, it, because they Arsenal have been doing this for the past couple of seasons now. Have they perfected it? I don't know. So maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. I'm going to put it down here. One good. It's a good shirt. It could be great. Um, but uh, for the time being, guys, that is the Premier League jerseys for this coming season what do you think about that uh, give me your thoughts and opinions on that of course we've got two four six eight ten twelve there's a further eight Brentford I believe they'll be wearing their own seat they're at the same shirt from last season so uh so we we could throw that in the mix next time around but we'll back of course when we have the other eight but until then guys what are your thoughts let me know down below uh, do you agree or disagree and of course we'll hope to look at some other uh, shirts for the championship league one league two and maybe even dip into Europe, take a look at uh, La Liga and all that kind of stuff. So, so make sure we drop your thoughts and opinions down below. But until then, guys, smash your subscribe, smash the thumbs up, smash the little bell. But until then, guys, we're done right now. There's the wife.